What I'm holding up here, this is a Williamson jig and it's about 12 ounces. And you can see that it's this white color, pearl color on one side and on the other side, it's a nice silver color. But I've got so many fish on it that it's actually taken the silver off and this is from banging the rocks. Now you'll also notice that on this spoon, there's no treble hook on the bottom unlike the Lure Jensen Stinger. So this one is designed for very large fish. So you can see the heavy 200 pound lanyard and the very large hooks that are on here. So when this is going down through the water, it's less likely to get hung up on the bottom, especially if you're fishing a sticky bottom, which a lot of the bottom fish like. But when a fish goes to hit this, it's likely that it's gonna get one of those single hooks on. So this is excellent if you want a vertical jig. The traditional rig though here is called a spreader. And that's what I've got right here in this hand. So the spreader is very simple. This is the actual spreader. It almost looks like a bottom walking sinker, but there's no sinker here. So just a long arm L shape. This is where your bait is with a uh, artificial squid or a large hoochie. And then here we have a herring that's wrapped up in two hooks. And usually they use anywhere from 50 to 80 pound test monofilament. Then you have a leader that's about three feet long with about a one pound weight. Because a lot of times when you're fishing in two and 300 feet of water and you have a tide moving through, you can have a two to four mile an hour current. So it's very important to keep contact with the bottom. And you can see from the curl on the bottom that that weight has been hitting the bottom. So this is a very nice rig and it's probably the classic rig when it comes to catching big halibut.